the Nike. Nike my brothers and sisters in sport. Yeah, the one up there. By, uh, we are overwhelmed with the events of the past week, so I am grateful to each of you and your show of love. It is now time to give our respects to the fallen, remember the deceased, and give thanks to our protectors and first responders. As a community, we come together in this time in a show of strength and togetherness to support our friends and competitor family in the great city of Boston. A hallowed ground has been shaken. Little did they know that when they shake our chapel, it will push into a movement of the entire nation. You may shake us, but you will never break us. We are the United States of America, and our resolve, when shaken, is to become tighter and stronger. It is no surprise that the home to Tracktown USA, countless community endurance sport organizations, two major running shoe companies, and the best damn running park in the nation would bring out so much support. Tonight, we are here to give as much as humanly possible all the love we can collectively muster to the families of the deceased to hope and pray that they find the strength to heal to move on, forever changed, yet forever loved. To the main victims who lie in hospital beds, nursing wounds that will never heal. To support the beloved Boston people, our brothers and sisters who have had their community shaken. To the city of Boston, we love you. Responders running to save and create order amidst chaos. We thank you. <laughs> to the victims. Tonight, we run in remembrance of you. This is, uh, there's many words that have been spoken about the event, many touching sentiments have been posted, as you can see, uh, all over the social media. <clears throat> this came from a uh, close friend of mine, a coach, and uh, someone who is uh, very close to our organization. Coach Joe English is uh, located here in Portland, Oregon, he works with the team training group. This is from what he wrote on the day of the event, an excerpt. I could move to a place where I would fear for the future of our sport. It would be easy to imagine that today's bombing could send runners fleeing away from the large city marathons. Or worse, that event organizers could flee in fear of this new risk that has been made all too real for us today. Endurance sports have been practiced on the roads, in public, for hundreds of years. Back to the dawn of the marathon itself in ancient Greece. They are public spectacle. The thought of somehow withdrawing them from the public view, perhaps into stadiums or within protected parts, would be to deny the historical place of these competitions and the role of the spectator to witness the greatness of the human struggle on display. The running community is strong and will go on. Runners in many ways are defined by their running. We are connected by a desire to feel that euphoric mental fist bump that we get when we finish a marathon. Once experienced, that is something that we crave and we hope to share. No runner will ever forget April 15th, 2013. My hope is that no runner is deterred by it. We must carry on our journey forever forward Forever forward. So I'm going to give a little bit of instructions on how we're going to be running tonight and how everything.